Good evening, everyone. We still have some rain that's moving through our area as we look ahead to our overnight hours, Saturday night and going into Sunday. The rain that we have, though, across our area now overall is a lot less, and it is looking better. The trends are looking likely that we're seeing a lot of this heavy rain finally lifting out of our area. It's going to take some time still overnight, but it looks likely that we're going to see the majority of the heaviest rain push to the north and out to the east. We'll still see some lingering showers on Sunday, but let's talk about what's going on once again across our area. We still have a couple of flash flood warnings that are in effect for this late evening hours. It's been really raining hard still in parts of Currituck County in North Carolina, where we have that flash flood warning that goes until 10 o'clock. We also have some heavy rain still falling into Virginia Beach, too. But also around Surrey County, this area of rain is staying put. There's been rain all across Surrey County and even Williamsburg. And there still is some rain in Williamsburg here as we look at this evening. But a lot of this rain is still stuck once again right over Surrey County. Here's a look at the last, let me pick, three hours here on the radar. And look how the rain has not moved. It's been in the same spot over Surrey County for hours and hours. And the rainfall rates have been around one to two inches per hour. Rainfall amounts are getting close to seven inches in some spots. I don't have a lot of weather stations that I've access to in Surrey, and there's just not a lot of rain gauges out there, so it makes it hard to tell for what we have. But I do know that there's a lot of road closures because of this flooding that we've seen, not just in Surrey County, but in other areas too. Once again, as we zoom back out, look at the trends here for the last three hours. We have a lot of rain that we've seen throughout the day. Most of it is starting to finally push out. There still will be some rainfall that we'll see overnight. Here's some of the rainfall totals so far in Surrey, close to six inches of rain, more than six inches in Hampton today. Newport News, five and a half inches of rainfall. There's been a lot of flooding in all three of those locations. Virginia Beach, we had some flooding today. Currituck, there's been some flooding too with some roads that have been closed. So there's been areas with rainfall. There's been other locations too where the rainfall totals were less. One to two inches is still a lot for a day, but six inches in a day is exceptional. Now, for the rest of the evening, we'll continue to see rain across our area, but it looks lighter into the overnight hours. And once we get past midnight, I really believe a lot of this rain should move out of the region, except for the eastern shore and the middle peninsula. You could still see some heavy rainfall overnight across your areas. You haven't seen a lot of rain throughout the day. You did have some rain in the middle peninsula this morning, but overall, compared to other spots, you're a little bit behind, especially for the eastern shore. You've hardly had a ha haven't even made it to a quarter of an inch of rain in a lot of cities. So a good chance for some rain tonight in your area. Tomorrow morning, we'll see lingering showers. Tomorrow afternoon, there could be a couple pop-up showers and thunderstorms across the area. Thunderstorms will bring us heavy downpours. Just regular rain won't really cause too much trouble. So if we don't see a lot of thunderstorms, we should be okay for our Sunday ahead. And uh, the temperatures tomorrow should be in the 80s. Monday, eh, we don't look too wet. We're looking pretty dry across our area. How much extra rain are we seeing tonight? Maybe another two inches or so. Hopefully we can get some of that for the eastern shore. I don't want flooding, but I do want to get some more rain. So that's what we look like right now. That's what we're looking like into the overnight hours. I'm not expecting severe weather or tornadoes for our area, but some heavy rain is still possible as we go into the overnight hours. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Hope the rest of your night is going well. I'll talk to you on Sunday with more updates on our week ahead. It looks dry in the week ahead. We just have a couple more rainy hours to go. Have a good night.